Selling Singapore is back in the central business district at District 1 and in this episode we are revisiting an iconic development in the heart of the financial hub Shenton Way. We've got the privilege to showcase one of six penthouses and we want to share that luxurious experience with you. This is 5 on Shenton, let's go! So, some of you may have a better reference to this place being called V on Shenton, but a little tidbit here is that the V in the name is actually representative of the Roman numeral 5, as this is 5A Shenton Way and hence 5 on Shenton. But V on Shenton, 5 on Shenton, regardless, I'm going to run through some of the condo stats with you and then the floor plan before we bring you on a visual feast. 5 on Shenton is a 99 year lease whole project with its lease starting from 2011. The project was developed by UIC Investment Properties Private Limited and actually shares an address with the UIC building. The project was completed in 2017 and houses 510 residential units spanning 54 storeys including 6 luxurious penthouses. Residents of the project will get to enjoy facilities like swimming pools, gymnasiums, club rooms and BBQ areas that spread across 3 open decks on levels 8, 24 and 34 of the development. So this unit is a 6814 square feet 5 bedroom penthouse apartment and in the floor plan over here you can see that as you enter from the main entrance you're greeted by your living and dining which has a balcony that stretches out all the way to the front and then the kitchen which is your wet and dry is on your right followed by three common bedrooms at the back through this corridor that leads you to your master ensuite right at the end. This luxury penthouse that we are standing in right now is at a retail price of $20.8 million at the current time of taking this video. And this place has had a new revamp of ID worth up to about a million dollars and that is inclusive of the price tag. So we want to begin in the living room over here as you can already immediately experience the vertical and horizontal space. So right behind me, this is where you have a massive and luxurious L-shaped sofa. This is where you can host your friends and family or even just an intimate family time. And it's a really luxurious spot for your everyday relaxation. On this wall over here, the ID has done up this full wall mirror and that really accentuates that already massive vertical and horizontal space like we spoke about. If you just notice through the surroundings, right, this ceiling height we have is at about 4.8 meters and what illuminates the entire space is actually this column of dome-shaped down lights which is a really nice feature that adds that character to the home. Now we move on to the dining area. So, there is no actual segregation of space but you've got a nice cosy allocation for an 8-seater dining area over here but based on what your needs are, this space can definitely fit up to a 10-seater or even a 12-seater. We are also very conveniently located right next to this open countertop space which actually is a dry kitchen corner for you and it's already come equipped with luxury appliances from Gaggenau, this is an induction hob and you've got a coffee machine and a two-door refrigerator. So coming through these sliding door panels, you enter your wet kitchen and it's a really nicely equipped wet kitchen with your microwave oven and a conventional oven which comes from Gaggenau as well. And on this corner, you've got ample countertop space for meal preps and another two-burner induction hob with hood and top-hung shelving bottom cabinets for all your storage. On this corner, you've even got a very nice deep sink for all your washing needs and it flows very nicely into this backyard area which actually serves as a helper's quarter with its very own Murphy bed and helper's bath. And right beside, before we leave the yard, this is a very conducive practical space to house both your washer and your dryer. So I just want to show you for a little bit on this corner over here, you will actually find your main entrance and if we swap the perspective a little bit, if you are coming in from the main entrance, right, this is a very nice welcome area and it's very conveniently located next to the powder room which is very well equipped for when your guests come to visit. Through this corridor, you will find three common bedrooms and your master. We're going to check out the best of which first, the master bedroom. Let's go. Awesome. 
So stepping into the master bedroom, I just want to highlight that this is one of my personal favourites. You've got this nice segmentation of wall space over here, which actually segregates your wardrobe and your bathroom area away from your comfort zone. This is where your king size or queen size bed can sit with two bedside tables comfortably set right beside it. Let's check out the back. So, just stepping into this other side of the master bedroom, this is where you'll find full panel wardrobes for your missus and yourself. You can house lots of clothes over here, it almost goes up to about 3 quarters of the ceiling height which is more than 4 meters actually. And it has an entrance right here that leads to your ensuite bath. So coming in here, you will see that you've got his and her sinks and on this side is where you'll find your quick shower hidden behind this transparent glass panel and another luxurious bathtub right behind it. You've also got his and hers toilet bowls which is a luxury you can almost only find in luxury penthouses like this. So we're going to step out quickly into the balcony to see what kind of views we get and the amount of space we actually get to enjoy. And because this balcony is actually shared with your other common bedroom, an ideal configuration would be this as your kids' bedroom. So if you want to keep tabs on them, there are two modes of access. So we are going to step into the common bedroom right here. And you can see that the ID over here has already been done up very well with full wallpapers that run across the entire space and it's actually quite an ample space for a queen size bed to sit right in the middle two bedside tables as well you've still got a lot of open space over here if you want to set up a study corner for your children and this common bedroom actually comes with its own ensuite bathroom as well check it out so right now we are going to go down the hall and check out the rest of the other two bedrooms very quickly but before we do so, I just want to highlight that this door is actually your service entrance. So this is where deliveries can come in. So they don't have to step into your grand entrance over there. So what the developers have done in this bedroom itself, they have really uh, themed it to be a children's bedroom area. You can see that the wall goes in really deep. This bedroom has a slightly larger space compared to the previous one we saw. So whether it be for your eldest kid or another family member in your house, this could serve as a very nice space. And you will notice right on this corner, just like the other bedroom, that this one also comes with an ensuite. Every bedroom in this apartment actually comes with an ensuite bathroom. So there's no real sharing required for the entire family. So finally, we're going to check out the last common bedroom before we head upstairs to the second floor. This bedroom, as you can see, carries a slightly different configuration but the size is somewhat similar to the first common bedroom we saw earlier. You've got a nice carpentry going here for built-in wardrobe space. And this bedroom actually also shares a balcony with the third bedroom that we saw. Every user of this home actually enjoys their own private outdoor space and that's a really nice feature. So through this door, you come into your neighbour, your family neighbour over here, which may be your brother, your sister. It's a really nice touch. So if you're enjoying this grand tour of this home with us so far and you would like to see more of such content, then smash the like button, share this to your friends and family and drop us a comment section on what you feel about the home tour so far. Right now, before we head up to the second floor, I'm just going to run with you through the floor plan for the second level of this apartment. So when we get to the second floor, you'll find a family room, a common bathroom and the roof terrace which spans the entire second floor. So, coming up to the second floor, you will actually find your separate bathroom that's right beside the family room entrance and I find that really functional because the second floor is mostly spaced out by a roof terrace which is usually going to be used for hosting friends and family and you don't want them to have to keep stepping in to your family area which may otherwise be a private space and they can just step out through this door access over here, come in, relieve themselves and head back out for their gathering. Stepping into this family room over here. For me, myself, I've got several recommendations of how you can use this space. Right now, it's set up as a very cozy, intimate second family space. But you could either set this up as an entertainment zone for your guests 
or if you want that segregation of space from level 1 to level 2 you have need for the work from home setup then this could really work very well as a private man cave for yourself or just a workstation in general right now it has a tv console that's mounted upon this very beautiful marble slab over here and you've got carpentry space for some uh, decorative storage as well another recommendation for you if this is an entertainment space is you can even set up a nice bar area that could very well serve the outdoor guests that are going to enjoy that beautiful roof terrace that we're going to check out right now so stepping out here i think this is the real highlight of the entire house we're just going to quickly check out this gorgeous view right in front of us over here Overlooking these railings here, you actually look upon the coast of Singapore. This is the southern coast. Right in front, in the distance, you can actually see the very luxurious Sentosa Cove region. And you can see that the sea is really clear. There's not much obstruction, not like some other coast that you find in Singapore. This is really one of the most uh, million dollar type of view that you can get. And within the CBD itself, this is what Five on Shenton sets itself apart from its other competitors. In the CBD, you don't really get sea views, but Five on Shenton does not have any obstruction right in front, and this is what you get as a result. So this roof terrace, other than its spectacular view on this corner, if we actually step onto that corner over there, you actually have the other side of the spectrum, which is the beautiful concrete jungle, skyscraper kind of vibe. And as we walk along this space, you can already imagine the amount of things you can do here. I mean, apart from the COVID regulations and such, on the days where we are all free from the virus, this is where you can host very large 50 packs gatherings. You've got El Fresco dining set up over here. On that corner, you've got washing points and a very nice countertop for you to do outdoor meal prep if you want to serve your guests. And this is the other side of the view. This is basically a concrete jungle. You look into the heart of the CBD and we are at one of its most premium locations. So right on this corner, I really like this uh, green wall that they have set up. It really accentuates that outdoor vibe. And you've got this stone marble countertop that runs through. It's a very grand feel, even for an outdoor setting. Your meal preps, your entertainment of guests, it can all happen here. Now let's head on back in to really talk about the rest of what this location has to offer for you and who this particular penthouse is really for. Let's go! When we talk about such a prestigious address located in the heart of Singapore's central business district, there is no doubt that its connectivity will be its main highlight. Five on Shenton has direct underground access to downtown MRT and the upcoming Shenton Way MRT station which is set to open in the very near future. In terms of driving, we've also got road access to MCE which leads us to AYE, ECP and KPE right at our doorstep. When it comes to retail options, we've got 100AM Tanjong Paga Exchange and we're also really close by to Marina Bay Sands. Financial hubs like Asia Square, OUE Downtown and Capital Towers are also all within our neighbourhood. The main selling point of this unit is that not only does it have a very prestigious address, and the fact that it's located within the CBD, but it still enjoys very spectacular, unobstructed views of the Singapore southern coastline is what sets itself apart from its other competitors. So best of all, a penthouse of 6,814 square feet has very similar luxury of space compared to that of a landed property and yet does not have its limitation that only Singaporeans can buy. So especially if you're a foreigner looking to purchase a luxury dream home in Singapore, this could be the right one for you. And if it is, then call me up at 8233-0839 and I'll be happy to set up an appointment for you to see this place for yourself. Once again, I'm Bobby, Selling Singapore and I'll see you soon.